Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. It is vlog week 32, which I can't believe it is 32 weeks that I have been weekly vlogging already. Nonetheless, this morning I have a few errands to run and I also wanted to just have a quick look in Home Bargains, a couple of other places, maybe even do a full haul. Uh, there's a couple of baskets that I've seen that I really want to get my hands on, so... Uh, yeah, that is the plan this morning. I will take you along with me and if you don't already subscribe to my channel Please do it means so much to me. Give this video a thumbs up if you like my weekly vlogs Let's get on with week number 32. First stop post office for all of these Depop parcels I've arrived big 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 home bargain. So hopefully they'll have what I'm looking for. This is what I was after these baskets Mum said the navy ones have been reduced to 4 99 but there weren't any cream ones left but it looks like they're still $9.99, but I'm gonna take them to the till and just check. I've definitely got enough for a haul and I did end up going for the baskets that I was after because even though they were full well they were 9.99 um, and the navy ones were 4.99 cream just goes with our decor better and um, it wasn't that the navy ones were reduced that's just what they were priced at anyway so it's obviously just because cream's a more popular color which I get so I picked them up along with a whole host of other bits so I'll do a haul I think I've like not broke my toe that sounds dramatic but I stubbed it this morning before leaving and usually by now obviously like it's that initial oh but then it's fine and it goes away it still feels a bit tender when I stand on it in certain ways my baby toe so I'm like oh, I'm struggling to walk it's okay like now I can feel it but it's okay it's when I walk on it in a certain position that it's like painful but anyway oh, so I've got my shopping picks in and now I'm gonna head back and get on with some work I've got a campaign to shoot an Instagram and the Depop video I want to have edited and uploaded for tonight before Love Island final. And um, then I've also got Wednesday's video, which I think is going to be a Primark haul, which I've already filmed. I just need to edit. Lots to be getting on with. So yeah, I'm going to head back home and it's hot again. It is hot. I just remembered as well, I wanted to nip into, see if you can see that. <laughs> Guess the brand. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, because sometimes they do like sales on their plants. So just thought I would have a browse. It's literally, I pass it on route home. So I'm gonna do that. And there was something else I wanted to say. Can't remember. Bye. <laughs> There were a few in the sale, but they looked like sale, if you know what I mean. So, off home now. It's probably about half three. Lights are on because the heavens have opened. It look how dark, it, well, you can't really tell on camera, but it's gone really, really dark. Look at this rain. At least our plants are getting a good watering. So, I feel like it's only just to make myself a coffee because I'm feeling like a bit cozy. I've got loads of stuff done today. I've had a few emails, exciting things. Wednesday I might be going into Manchester now super early and doing a nice like press breakfast type day at the Midland Hotel followed by massage spa afternoon or spa morning and then shooting with Lydia and Hannah in the afternoon so that'll be really good if we get that booked in. I think I heard thunder then. I quite like thunderstorms. Anyone else? All the more reason to get cosy with a coffee and maybe a biscuit or something whilst I crack on with work. Dinner's ready. You coming? I got one that was already cooked. This is what I've cooked for us tonight. Well, like I said, I bought rotisserie chicken. Uh, I go for the legs. Tom has the breast. Although I like breast as well, but he doesn't have legs, so I just stopped for that one. And then pasta, just plain pasta usually a bit of oil salt and pepper but 
we don't have any oil left so a little bit of butter and then like a rainbow salad there so that is our dinner this evening our pre love island final dinner come on i'm starting i'm actually sweltering i feel so hot right now it's like proper humid sticky kind of like atmosphere at the minute today which is just lovely um so i'm just gonna head to aldi because i've just watched emma hill's vlog about the fact that she um got the halloumi fries and it's maximum two per person so everyone's been raving about these halloumi fries so i'm going to see if our aldi has them along with their new outdoor candles that they're selling um so i have a look but i also need to pick up some more postage bags for more depop items i just used my last one and I think that's probably one of the reasons why I'm so hot is because I've literally just spent all morning packaging up and delivering and sending out. So I'm just like, oh, let's get the air conditioning on, get to Aldi and then get home and do some work this afternoon. Also, our friends just had a baby. So when we go into Manchester tomorrow, I think we're going to go and see her. But for now, let's head to Aldi. These are the ones I usually get. They're medium. Oh no, small, small. Where are the large? We've got some new stationary bits in as well. This is quite cute. This little academic year planner. And then this one. little just quick trip out I've got so much to do that I need to do today whatever uh, so these are the bags that I get from Poundland in case you're interested I think I did get a couple of sneaky shots of what I did get from Aldi but I'll show you nonetheless because that's something that I would be interested in watching so maybe some of you would be too I don't know <laughs> baby fries looking forward to trying these out so much because like I said everyone raves about these it's lunchtime I've got bagels that need eating so I'm gonna have one of them with an avocado and some red onion on there too. And then these are the candles I was after. So these can be indoor or outdoor. To be honest, I like the look of them that much that I think especially more wintry time, this one in particular, wood fire. It smells so good. It smells really like warm and cozy. And then this one is in fig, which I think we could have out this time of the year. So that is what they look like. How nice is that packaging? I have seen it these priced at about like £7.49 or £7 something. But the Aldi that I went to, it was like £8.49 or whatever that 49 bit was. So I don't know if they've had added an extra £1 on or not, which is annoying because they're so popular. But they do smell pretty good. They're three wick, both of them. This one in particular is my favourite. I love the look of the fig one, but I prefer the smell of this one. I might actually put that in front of our fire. At the minute, I'm feeling really, really ruthless to be, like, more minimal. Because I always say, like, oh, less is more, blah, blah, blah. But I have that much stuff that I'm just like, oh, sometimes it makes me feel stressed out when everything doesn't have a home or it feels a bit decluttered or did like disorganized and i've bought things which fair enough however many months or years ago that i bought it i liked it but and there's nothing necessarily wrong with it but i just don't like like it the same anymore my style slightly changed so i'm not going to feel guilty about it but i am going to have a ruthless deep clean I'm talking mostly like homeware bits because I've done the clothes now, put them on Depop. I'm talking more like home decor bits like vases or plant pots or just decorative pieces that I'm like, hmm, like they're okay. There's nothing really wrong with them. But just to have out all the bits that I really like, declutter and have a sort through and then give back to charity by making a big donation. So that's what I'm going to do and... I still need to make lunch, it's about half two and I'm slacking a bit. I've just been that busy that you know we just get on with things and other things come up, emails and everything that I've just ended up kind of like, I need to remind myself to eat. I'm feeling a bit shaky so I'm gonna put my bagel in, have avocado and red onion on bagel, salt and pepper, have that for my lunch. I've got a video to edit which needs to be up tomorrow, hopefully, if not Thursday. It's my Primark course so that will already be live by the time you're watching this. 
so I'll leave a little card if you want to watch my latest Primark haul. I don't think I did one last month, so uh, yeah. If you want to see that, go head over and watch that after this video. And for now, lunch, crack on with work, and we'll see what the plans are later. Just made my lunch and about to sit down and eat it, but then I heard a knock at the door, Mr. DPD. And look at the how they spelt Freya Barrington. Freya Fanglen. Okay, so this is, let's see. Dear Freya, please find enclosed press release and a gift from one of our new brands launching in Manchester this August. Valmont. Oh wow, beautiful. I am a sucker for good packaging and I've never seen a gift bag like this with leather straps. I gift set. This is what this looks like. I love this like branding. The white and gold is just very me. And inside is, oh my god, look at that packaging. That's incredible. So there's a little IC gel moisturising cream and what looks to be little pads that you can soak and have under your eyes, like a little under eye mask. And then in here, we have a prime renewing pack. So this is also a face mask, but it is anti-fatigue. Use every day in the morning, apply a fine layer to the face and neck, leave for three to five minutes, then remove the excess with a damp, soft cloth. Thank you so much, Harvey Nichols, for introducing me to this brand. How cozy is this coffee break? I just felt like I had to vlog it, but just made myself a nice little coffee. I'm just enjoying what we have left. We only have a few left, if you can see at the bottom there. Of these M&M's limited edition crunchy caramel. If you like dime bars, you'll love these. They're so good. And then I've got my new candle burning. So this is the Aldi. Yes, I just stroked it. <laughs> um, this one's the one in Fig. And this is a candle from, I think this is a shop in Cheshire called... Arigi Bianchi? Bianchi? I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. You can see me and Tom in the background. That's in Marrakesh, by the way. I feel like I've got next to no makeup on, which is kind of the case. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to head to Booze, grab some food for tonight. Tom messaged me saying fajitas. <laughs> Good morning, this morning I'm off to the Midland Hotel to do like a mindfulness massage that they do. But we're also having a guided meditation session, so I'm very excited for it. Um, I'll show you around and a bit about what we get up to and everything. But yeah, I feel like I need this a little zen, calm energy, breakfast with them as well. And then um, I'm going to go and meet Hannah and Lydia later. And zen, thoroughly enjoyed that. Highly recommend. And now I'm so like chilled out. Ooh, in the lift. I'm so chilled out and relaxed now. But I'm gonna go meet with Hannah and Lydia, do some shopping, and then I can always come back and use the spa in a bit if I want to. So they also gifted us a little bag, so I'll have a look in there and show you what we got later on. 
I'm gonna head back to the car now, dump these bags. I'm going to Grand floor. I found these two, they're looking all blogger blogger and I'm very cash today, so. Um, we're gonna go find Kiehl's, some bits hopefully. We've been invited to have a look and have a skin consultation. Hannah loves the vlogs. <laughs> the day new routine, basically you can't use the morning and night time. I've used this before and I really like it. Yes, oh yes, so I'll definitely stick for your skin tap. So this one is this mask and that one is that mask. <laughs> That's hard to show. It looks good though. For some reason it just reminded me of the, um, what's that movie where she says, I'm on a diet, I only have a cube of cheese but when I feel like I want to fade. Oh, yeah. oh, I, I can quote it word for word. This is what we're having for lunch, an avocado. <laughs> no, we've got more coming. I went with croquette this time when you've got the arancini we had last time. But these look good. So I've said goodbye to the girls now and I'm just not sure how to usually shop in but I'm actually in m and and on route out I saw the sale rail. A couple of bits caught my eye, actually three bits. Um, so I had a quick look whilst I'm just waiting for Tom to arrive so we can go and see our friends. And I thought I would show you what I have found. So first of all, a simple white tea from 7.50 down to 2.19. I just feel like I need more basics in terms of white teas, so I picked that up. And then also this dress, I'm not really 100% sure on it, but we'll try it. It's only £9. And then thinking a season in advance, this is only £7. And it is in an XL, but I'd kind of wear it as like a jumper dress with maybe a slip under it or some, I don't know, skinny jeans, and then roll up the sleeves. But I have just noticed makeup, which is never good. This is the dress pair it with a straw bag like so but I'm unsure I'm unsure I feel like if this was in Topshop would I like it more or is it genuinely just a print I'm not I think it's the color if it's like yellow or lemon but it's kind of more of a greeny yellow so maybe that is why I'm being put off it but it's nice it's got pockets as well so I've come for a little coffee pit stop and I've got my laptop here Gonna get some work done before I meet up with Tom and just to chill out this afternoon. Oh, and I also got a banana and walnut cake. The love of my life. <laughs> Your head's always cut off when I wrote luck. We're just going to Apple because my phone has stopped working. Brilliant. It stopped working as I tapped in something on the sat nav, so it's now talking to me really loud, which is very embarrassing. The phone is now fixed, which is always good. It's been a long day, so we're gonna end it with Rudy's pizza. Thank you. <laughs> I feel so far away from you. Come back, Jack. Good morning, today is Friday and today I am doing an admin at home work day which is always fun but I um, seriously quite enjoy it because it just allows me to catch up on everything. So that is what I'm doing today and I'm actually fairly ahead of everything with in terms of YouTube videos. I've already got Sunday's vlog uploaded, I just need to do description, thumbnail, all that sort of stuff which you guys probably aren't interested in. <laughs> um, but also I just um, wanted to show you what we got on, what was it Wednesday? Wednesday when I went into Manchester. <laughs> okay well this isn't something I was going to show you but I ended up getting some chocolates from Lint to put into like a hamper that we um, gave to our friends who've just had a baby and <laughs> forgot to put these bits in it so we're just going to have to eat them ourselves. A little toe. I stubbed it the other day and it's still like bruised and it's really sore. I actually ended up being, um, if I don't seem very with it, at Tom's Bar until really late last night because we closed and we were doing up a load of, we are just doing a massive, massive deep clean in the kitchen, which if you can imagine a commercial kitchen having to deep clean it, move everything out and scrub and I was on my hands and knees in dirty, well not dirty water, but water that we were cleaning the kitchen with and it was just, it wasn't fun and we ended up painting and everything so 
I did shower as soon as I got in last night but it wasn't until about 11 and then by the time I've washed my hair and dried it midnight ish so yeah late night and hard working yesterday so I'm not I'm a bit more like ah oh, today and chill so first of all I went to the really really lovely meditation type morning with Midland Hotel and on route out they gave us this bag this HD browse bag and inside we have um what's this a Jessica Fen Phenomen oil um, Jessica's a nail brand so I'm assuming this is for your nails rehydrate skin around nails even elbows feet knees wherever dryness demands a refreshing drink of moisture all right okay so you can use it wherever you feel necessarily necessarily necessary and this is the little pot that it comes in and then we've got also a little bag here full of all spa products so the facial well not facial the full body mindfulness massage that we had was uh, by Espa, like it was all Espa products and I love their products. Triactive Advanced Instant Facial Cream, Pink Hair and Scalp Mud Mask, an Overnight Hydration Therapy, Restorative Body Oil. So I have tried their body oils in the past and I absolutely love them. I think I have the soothing one because she did a little sensory test before the massage to just put two different oils and have me smell each one and I got to choose which oil to use and I recognized one of them so yeah she said that was like the lavender soothing one but I ended up going for the other one which was the fitness one I think it was it was like more musky and warm it was really nice last but not least we have two little sachets here shampoo and conditioner and then i also picked up some bits from keels selfridges as i predicted i have like combination skin which means i can get oil in my t-zone and then dryness on my cheeks and then she said my skin on my cheeks was really dehydrated so for that she recommended all of these products and a few others but these are all like the travel size ones so this one i'm really excited to use it's the midnight recovery botanical cleansing oil which you can use to remove all of your makeup and i love removing my makeup with just an oil in my fingers and just really scrubbing not scrubbing but like it just feels really nice and smells amazing there's also a um calendula herbal extract toner this is alcohol free now this was recommended to me because the candula plant from south africa it's like a little um yellow sunflower that's what it looks like it reminds me of that and you might be able to see but there are actually bits of the plant in there can you see them spinning around there so that was really interesting uh to see the actual flower at like in its original form and then similarly, I have the Candula and Aloe Soothing Hydration Mask. This felt really nice. She did a little test on my hand of this one. And then afterwards, left it on for a few minutes afterwards, my hand there felt really, really soft. The other one she used, um, this is a Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. So I'd be more inclined to use this just on my like oily T-zone areas, uh, just to really make sure all my deep pore areas are nice and clean last but not least we have two little bits here these are both uh sun protections so the first one is the ultra light daily uv defense sunscreen with spf 50 and then this is their cc cream which i am the lightest shade in i believe they do light medium and dark last but not least i got delivered this little package yesterday and it's from a brand called booty bag booty bag so um, they've got a little pop socket there and a little note and a sticker. They are a subscription based service and they deliver monthly or weekly, I'm not quite sure. I'll leave the link below just to confirm that. But little knickers. So this is what this one is. So you would receive this through the post and inside you have your pair of knickers. So for the month of August, I believe this is, this is oh there's two sets here this like green color and then there is also this one which has little polka dots on it in like more of a teal blue color so thank you so much for that it's a really unique concept and if you're into your undies then maybe that one is for you it's tipping it down outside so i'm not going to be going out anywhere this afternoon and tom's taking my car today so I'm going to grab myself a coffee, crack on with starting to clear out and declutter and organise and all that sort of stuff. I might watch um, Alfie Day's series that he did with the haunted um, prisons and things. Yeah. 
YouTube on, Netflix, and not chill. parcel delivered so I'll open that in a second just add to my big pile of ironing to do this looks like it's from it's from one of the L'Oreal brands and I think it could be something from Kiehl's but I could be wrong so let's have a look inside okay yeah this is from Kiehl's I love Kiehl's Tom is also a big Kiehl's fan so if you have any guys out there that you're looking to buy presents for or gift ideas for I would recommend Kiehl's as a men's brand as well because he loves them okay so the first thing is this glow formula skin hydrator with pomegranate extract i've seen this before actually and really like the look of it so i'm excited to give that one a try they've also included a butter stick lip treatment spf 25 untinted with coconut oil and lemon butter mm, feels nice that and then last but not least we have this which is the uh, Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Massage two to three drops onto freshly cleansed skin, avoiding the immediate eye area. That is what it looks like. Thank you again, Kiehl's, uh, so much for sending me these few goodies. Right, and now cracking on with the rest of the housework slash tidy up slash, oh, my coffee's downstairs, actually. I'll have that first. In fact, I'll have it with, dun, dun, dun. I always do dun, dun, dun in my videos. <laughs> like I'm doing some big reveal. It's not, it's just a lint box of lint goodies can you see in there yum i'm just walking to booze i'm just gonna grab myself some dinner for this evening because i don't think tom will be home till later so we just sort of said sort ourselves out for food oh it was bee. <laughs> um so i don't know what i'm gonna get i'm just gonna browse and get some inspiration so i remembered i have the loomy fries which i picked up from aldi earlier on this week so I thought, oh yeah, I'll try them, seeing as though Tom's not here, because he's probably not that fussed for them. So, I thought, what can I have with that? Maybe some kind of meat and veg. And I just went to like the discount section to see what they had. And they had some of these meatballs, pack of 25 from four pounds down to two pounds. So if I cook them all up, we can always have like any leftovers tomorrow with pasta or something. And then what veg did I fancy? sweet corn what are you guys having for your dinner or is it lunch time or is it breakfast time what time are you watching this video let me know i'm intrigued to see what the majority of people like what time they sit down and watch the weekly vlog so i upload them every sunday I try and stick to every morning around like if it's ready and scheduled then it'll be live by about half eight nine just out of respect to any other fellow early risers out there did i show you don't think i have let me just show you these so um i worked with fragrance direct on a blog post last month in well throughout the month of july I'm also working with them in August, whereby I'm doing like a DIY perfume stand or like my top most affordable perfume stands or perfume trays, that kind of thing is what I'm going with. So in light of that, they sent me five of their perfumes of which I got to choose out and I'm so excited for these because some are ones that I am a big fan of and others I have never tried before but knew I would like because of the notes. So if you're buying fragrances online, I would recommend reading the details and the notes just so that you know what sort of scent it's going to be like. Like for instance, I wouldn't go for something if it said really, really fruity um, or floral and rose based. I like the more... Um, musky, earthy, kind of spicy, woody tones. So with that in mind, I picked up this one, which is an exclusive edition Dolce & Gabbana, the one. The box of this, or the bottle I should say, is so nice. I nearly did Arabic at uni, but instead I did, like, alongside my French degree, I, I instead chose Mandarin for my last year. But I would consider learning a bit of basic Arabic just because I love the writing. Anyway, I don't know what it says. Does it say the one? Maybe? I'm assuming. I don't know. Um, but this is so nice. And like I said, more importantly, the bottle's amazing. Oh, 
I can't sniff all of these because it'll just be annoying that you guys can't smell it too. Okay, this is one that I have had before in sample size. If you remember when I went to a Trafford Centre and did a bit of a come shopping with me to Trafford Centre, I went to Tom Ford and had like a mini makeover. He introduced me to some of the fragrance and the fragrance combining that they do. And one of the ones that I picked out through like sensory testing was Tuscan leather. So it's one that me and Tom can share, which is always a bonus. And like I said, the fact that I like the earthy, musky, masculine tones is brilliant because we can just share a lot of our fragrances. And this is a 100 mils Eau de Parfum. Again, with these being Eau de Parfum, they are much stronger than like Eau de Toilette. This is another one that I've always wanted to get. This would still be the one that I'd go to, but this is just a little bit lighter. So maybe for this time of the year, a bit more appropriately, it's uh, better suited. And I just love the packaging. I love Tom Ford packaging anyway. Apparently he is, uh, he has like an architectural background. So a lot of the bottles and the designs that he has done are based on chess pieces. And then this is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana. This is the oak wood vanilla bourbon. Packaging wise, I loved the tones of this one, the like browns and golds. And also I liked the white and gold one, but this is the one that stood out to me most in terms of the notes. So again, worth reading up on and then last but not least again another one that i've smelled before and really liked tom actually introduced this brand to me it's aqua de palma i think that's how you pronounce it so it is again another luxury fragrance one of which he uh, first introduced to me when i was poorly in hospital for a few days he very kindly surprised me on one of the days when he visited and he bought me a nice new perfume. So very kind of sentimental brand this one and one that I have always had in my collection ever since. So this is the Oud Eau de Cologne Concentré. So I'm guessing that's even stronger than the Eau de Parfum. So that is the pack. I mean, how pretty is this box? It comes in like a satin little cushioned bed. I could literally just sit and hold this bottle all night and just smell it because it smells so good. So, so good. All of these were very kindly sent to me, so I'm very, very grateful for that. So thank you, Fragrance Direct. If any of you want to check out the notes or anything of uh, those scents yourself, then I'll leave them listed below. I'm even treating myself to having dinner in bed today. Well, I say in bed, on bed, whilst watching some YouTube. Little, ta <laughs> Little taste test of these halloumi fries. I've already had one. They're good. I can see why they are max two per customer because it'd be so easy to just clear the shelves if they're apparently as hard as they are to get hold of. Mm. Really good. It's on me if I was on fire. And Vincent's dad was one of them. Happy Sunday. I ooh, butterfly flew out in front of me. Um, I have a parcel to collect, collect this morning, which I missed at the post office, or missed the post lady yesterday, so I figured I would go and collect that this morning. Oh gosh, it's hot in here. Um, really nice weather today, but Tom's like had a late night the night before, so he's not keen to do anything, which is just great. So I'm not really sure what our plans are for this afternoon. We've just had a really chilled morning lion type situation. Batteries flashing, which is brilliant. Maybe sit out in the garden for a bit because this weather's delightful. But I am very hot in this car, so I'm gonna go now. Would you like to do the honors and open my parcel? I think you're gonna like it. What is it? Right. What is it? Oh, what is it, Tommy? Oh. Blood orange sorbet, yeah. chocolate macaron. They are for me. <laughs> it is now Sunday evening. We've just been to Tom's mother's for a barbecue. And now we are chilling out. I'm having a couple of my chocolates from my Hotel Chocolat package that arrived. And then I think we're going to watch Handmaid's Tale and the Love Island reunion tonight, which I'm excited for. And then we're also into Forensic Files at the minute. So we're going to watch some of that on Netflix. Caught up with Power today as well. So just had a chilled one today, didn't we? Oh. Ta 
Yeah, no, you have to tap on the screen on the camera. That's so bad. Ah, my dress just came down. Anyway, I'm going to say goodnight. Thank you so much for watching this week's weekly vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again next time. Bye, guys. Say bye, Tommy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>